inside Huawei's highly secure research center, things are hardly slowing down. When you hear of the crisis that Huawei's going through outside with the US, how do you feel as an engineer working here? Yeah, I think um, I don't worry about it. The tech giant is in fact ramping up R&D. Engineers showed us a state-of-the-art antenna testing lab for 5G equipment and other patented research. On the left one is the old technology. It is an aluminum alloy. And this one is the technology we developed for 5G products. It's more than 30% lighter. It is made of a magnesium alloy. Oxford PhD holder Chun Cheng Gong specializes in structural materials to make 5G equipment lighter and more durable. Thermal engineer Tianhua Zhou showed me a technology to cool down 5G base stations. We have a name, but uh, you know the, the composition is uh, quite complicated. Yeah. So and it's a uh, secret? Yeah, it's kind of secret. To be honest, it's kind of secret. So it's a Huawei secret? Yeah, we have the patent, yeah. Perhaps more interesting was what they couldn't show me. 5G is open to you. So it means 5G cooling technology. It's old technology. So you already started on 6G? Yeah, actually we're working on 6G. 5G is 1,000 watt. And 6G may be 2,000 or 3,000 watts. So we need new technology. So we're working on that. It's Huawei's 5G technology that has been at the center of the storm. And I'm going to do a speed test so you can see the speed difference between 4G and 5G. So you can see the 4G phone is 88 megabits per second and the 5G phone is 900 megabits per second, almost one gigabit. 5G's faster speed enables new technologies such as self-driving cars, AI and robotics. But the US has slapped a trade blacklist on the tech giant, citing security risks and pressing its allies to follow suit. When you hear your CEO and founder, uh, uh, Ren Zhengfei, uh, okay. say that this is a live or die moment for the company, as an engineer, uh -huh. does it drive you to be more innovative? Yes, I think so, yes. Um, uh, I, think, I kind of feel it's uh, my responsibility to, to work hard, not only for myself, but also make a little contributions to, to our country. It's a critical moment for China's development. Zhou said founder Ren Zhengfei called these laboratories 2012. It is because the famous disaster movie 2012. Mr. Ren Zhengfei asked if Huawei's 2012 year is coming, who can help us? 2012 lab is Huawei's North Arc. So and that we, arc is going to help save the company? Yeah, to save our, our company. But is Huawei hardy enough to survive the turmoil? Ren says he's toughening up the company from the inside out. After this crisis happened, we're marching faster along the road of innovation. When hiring, we pay more attention to scientists and young talents. So we are much more capable to develop new products than in the past. Not only will we make up for the loss created by the US and continue with our production, but we will also update ourselves in technological development. These should happen at the same time. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.